racism is still alive today and it's still a very, very, very big problem. Sandra Bland, a good AME like myself, um, her body, her story needs not be erased. It has been such a frequent uh, opportunity that media has to call our stories negative and not good and to erase the narrative of the things that we do in the world by trying to erase, kill, murder our bodies and sometimes even our spirit. As long as we continue to keep the name Sandy Bland on the lips of those who love God and recognize that she died unjustly for a cause that continues to be real and continues to need to be addressed, she will not be erased. Remembering Sandra Bland, what I admired about this sister was she spoke truth to power. She was not afraid and she was very clear even in the moments where she was brought into custody. Sandra Bland caused me to think about putting out there that if I die in police custody, I did not commit suicide. And I think it's so crucial that more and more people share those words because we're living in what's becoming more and more like a fascist state. I mean, the Supreme Court just said that if you're illegally stopped and detained, for something like a bogus warrant or whatever, and they find that you have a warrant out, they can use that as the fruits of an illegal seizure, and it'd still be okay, which is bizarre, right? Like, that's about as close as to saying you have to prove your existence to walk through the street. The, the situation first happened, it just kind of rocked you to the core because you were, you were so used to the narratives of, of black men being wrestled down by police. Uh, and to think of a woman, someone who in society is perceived as vulnerable, as a, someone in society who is perceived as the nurturer and carer for children, to be uh, handled just as roughly uh, was, was kind of an eye-opener. And not a shocker, but it, it just made you burn with anger. Sandra Bond reminds me that there is no safe space in this country for me as a black woman because the police can stop me, the police can kill me, and they can be found not guilty. There could be no one held accountable for the taking of my life, and if you can take my life at will, what value does my life really have in this country? Uh, the courage that Sandra Bland had to, to stand up for herself and to speak up for herself um, in the processes leading up to her death uh, I, I think she should be admired for that, and I think she should be remembered for that. People who are trying to do good in the world that have been told that their bodies, their stories are not good, I want to bring them back to the center. My prayer for women is that we are clear and understand our voice and even our collective strength. You have never seen an entire population, an entire demographic that is both reviled and rendered invisible at the same time as you have seen with black women in America. And Sandra Bland reminds me every day that I have to say her name. I have to say my name. We, we need to remember her story. We need to remember her name. We need to remember uh, that no one should be treated um, as she was treated, uh, especially because of a black body, a black female body. My name is Carrie Nash, and if I die in police custody, I did not commit suicide, because you need to know that I'm here and I'm not going anywhere. Thank you, Sandra. The word has to get out there. We have to do something about this. I've had enough. Have you? Sandy speaks.